Good morning, everybody, and a very warm welcome to our service of morning prayer from the Mourn Group. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. With you, O God, is the well of life. And in your light shall we see light. Our praise this morning. In this epiphany season, we're drawing towards the Feast of Candlemas next week, which we'll keep in our churches on Sunday or in Amberley on Sunday. I thought I'd share with you a sonnet by Malcolm Geitz, a favourite poet of mine, as you'll probably be aware by now, um, on the subject of Candlemas. They came as called according to the law. Though they were poor and had to keep things simple, they moved in grace, in quietness, in awe, for God was coming with them to his temple. Amidst the outer court's commercial bustle, they'd waited hours, enduring shouts and shoves, buyers and sellers, sensing one more hustle, had made a killing on the two young doves. They come at last with us to Candlemas, and keep the day the prophecies came true. We share with them amidst our busyness, the peace that Simeon and Anna knew. For Candlemas still keeps his kindled light. Against the dark, our Saviour's face is bright. Psalm 99. The Lord is King. Let the peoples tremble. He is enthroned above the cherubim. Let the earth shake. The Lord is great in Zion and high above all peoples. Let them praise your name, which is great and awesome. The Lord our God is holy. Mighty King who loves justice, you have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before his footstool, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron among his priests, and Samuel among those who call upon his name. They called upon the Lord, and he answered them. He spoke to them out of a, the pillar of cloud. They kept his testimonies, and the law he gave them. You answered them, O Lord our God. You were a God who forgave them and pardoned them for their offences. Exalt the Lord our God and worship him upon his holy hill, for the Lord our God is holy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The reading is from Isaiah 30, uh, 60, sorry. Arise, shine, for thy light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. So let us pray. Loving Lord, in that poem, the brightness of your son's face contrasts with the dark world. We hold those dark places of the world before you now.
praying for the brightness of truth and light. For your Holy Spirit. To breathe upon those places. We pray especially this morning for the situation in Ukraine. We pray for peace. That those standing on the brink will step back. That diplomatic solutions will prevail. We pray too for those other parts of the world torn apart by conflict and violence. Those places from where the media caravan has moved on from. Think of Syria, of Yemen. Of Afghanistan. Shine your love, Lord, into the hearts of all those in power. And give hope to the weary. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Loving Lord, we pray for all those in government, in this country and abroad. That with power comes great responsibility and a call to honesty and integrity. We pray, Lord, that those in positions of leadership may examine their hearts. they may seek to follow a path of justice and truth. That all may be considered when decisions are made. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Loving Lord, we hold before you those who dwell in the darkness of illness and infirmity. We pray particularly this morning for Barbara's sister and brother-in-law in Canada. That you uphold them this day. Give them strength and hope. We pray too for those who have passed through death's dark veil and who now dwell in your incomparable light. Praying particularly for Marion and for Catherine. And holding to before you, Lord, their families and friends at this time. We 
that they may draw comfort from you and your promises of eternal life. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. A moment of quiet, we bring our own prayers before the Lord. O oh, good Jesus, word of the Father and brightness of his glory, whom angels desire to behold. Teach us to do your will, that guided by your spirit we may come to that blessed city of everlasting day, where all are one in heart and mind, and where there is safety and eternal peace, happiness and delight, where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, world without end. Amen. So we bring these and all our prayers together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into not temptation, into but deliver us from evil. Amen. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the light of Christ, our Lord, shine in our hearts this day. Amen. Amen.